Following on from the success we had um, marketing Shoes of Prey using video on YouTube, we, we thought we'd experiment uh, doing some video for the 22 Michaels blog. So I thought a good way to do that would be to interview some other people who are running their own startups. Um, so first up, I had a conversation um, that I recorded with a friend of mine, uh, Etienne. Um, uh, it, was a, it was a fairly long conversation in the end, um, but, but I had trouble actually editing it down. So I've cut the video into three different parts. So um, all on three different topics, so feel free to watch uh, one, two, or three of the videos, whatever you, whatever you think interests you. Um, sorry that the video quality is not that great either. It's, it's probably actually a good thing that my head is so small down in the left-hand corner. I'll, I'll try and fix that if I do this again. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you think of the, of the videos. Thanks. First up is Etienne, Etienne Jambou. He's a um, French Frenchman who I met in Dublin a couple of years ago over some poker games. Um, he used to work for Google uh, in the Dublin office and uh, I spent uh, three months in the Dublin office in 2008 and we've kept in touch since and in October last year Etienne launched Magma Mobile which is an agency specialising in helping clients put together a mobile strategy. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be good for Etienne to do a brief explanation of Magma Mobile and what the business is, then, then maybe we can talk through what Shoes of Prey can be doing in the mobile space. Uh, I th thought that might be an interesting discussion, some something I'd like to know more about. Um, and then talk with Eddie on what it's like running his own startup. So, um, hi Eddie, and over to you. Um, tell us a bit more about Magma Mobile. Sure, thank you for, for having me. Um, I do read your blog uh, every week and uh, I really Cheers. enjoy it. It gives me ideas for a lot of the things we, we, we do. Um, so after four years at Google, um, had the same uh, entrepreneurship drive that, that you had. I think uh, um, once you, you work at Google, you see so many different things, so many different opportunities, and, and you feel capable of doing it yourself in a way. So um, this, is, this is what happened uh, for me too. Uh, after four years at Google, I decided to launch uh, Magma Mobile with two uh, developers whom I had met while working at Google, they were already uh, clients of mine because I was uh, uh, looking after the big top accounts for Google AdSense in France. Mm -hmm. And um, I could see the growth internally of uh, Android already uh, within Google. And I, I really thought that there was a big opportunity there to, uh, to do a lot of different things. So um, we created the company in October, last October in uh, 2009. And we do three different things. Uh, we create applications and games um, as publishers. Um, our number one title today is Pinball, Pinball for Android. Uh, over a million and a half downloads globally. Wow. Wow. Uh, so that's, uh, it, we're, we're amazed at the success of the Pinball, uh, but it's true that it's a very simple game that people can play at different ages and it has worked uh, has worked really well. So that's one of the things we do. We, we have developed uh, roughly 10 application in games so far. Um, overall 3 million downloads. Uh, so we're really, Fantastic. really uh, excited about it. Yeah. Um, the business model on that side of the business at the moment is uh, ad-based. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's our it's our expertise, I guess, to Michael and I, Michael on the AdWords side and me on the publishing side, on the AdSense side. So everything we do is free and, and supported by, by advertising. Yeah. Um, what's really interesting at the moment is that a lot of the things that were happening on the web a few years back are happening on mobile right now. Um, to give you some perspective, like on the web today, you want to, you need a, an ad server to run all your, your ad networks uh, yeah. at the same time. And this is exactly where we are right now. We, we only use Google AdSense right now in our, in our applications, but there's a big, big need for running different mobile ad networks at, at the same time and mm -hmm. having them compete against uh, one another. And uh, it's actually hard to find a mobile ad server at, at the moment, and there's a big need for it. So there's a few companies competing for that, but it's very surprising not to see the big guys doing it. Google hasn't launched a, an, an, a mobile ad server yet, and even their competitors haven't yet. But uh, we, we really look forward to it so we can have everybody compete against one another on, on the ad space. Yeah, um, right. Is that something you guys are going to do yourself? or? 
well, we were thinking about it, but there's a, we want to stay focused right now yeah, on yeah, the yeah, on the yeah. strategy. But we have talked to people in the industry uh, uh, about this urgent need for a mobile ad server. Because mm. um, one of the great thing about AdWords and AdSense is that by running um, AdSense uh, for mobile application, you can get all the AdWords advertisers right away. So yeah. there's already a, a good level of competition. The auction yeah, is yeah. it's pretty decent. So that's that's the very good thing. The bad thing though is that AdWords is a is a web based advertising platform. Yeah. So all the advertisers running are web based. So when you click on an ad, it opens in the browser of your of your mm -hmm. phone. But yeah. almost none of the advertisers have created a mobile version of their of their site. Which makes it impossible to, to convert and have a good experience for users. So, mm -hmm. um, and I think to some extent that's why um, Google wanted to to go after AdMob and, and and buy a very specific mobile uh, mobile company. But uh, so so, AdSense is good, but not perfect, and that's why we're trying to add a lot of different mobile ad network at the same time to uh, monetize our applications uh, better. So sure. so that's. One of the first things we do at Magma Mobile, out of the three things, is uh, that we develop applications as, as publishers. Uh, the second thing we do is develop applications for, for companies, for external companies that want to be on the, on the Android phone, mm -hmm. uh, specifically with, with French uh, publishers at the moment, but our reach can be, can be global. Um, so the fact that I work with the top brands in France, uh, uh, looking after the AdSense account, uh, makes it easier, and uh, mm -hmm. this is why I try to leverage a little bit of my network, and uh, so this is what we're trying to do uh, as well. Okay. And the third thing we do, and I think uh, it's also a big part of our success, is that we're running a site called Androlib, mm -hmm. Androlib.com, which is a, a directory, a directory of all the Android applications available on, on a phone of the 35,000 plus application available on the Android market today. Yep. And uh, so we've been very successful with it, uh, mainly because we're trying to connect uh, developers and users. Yep. So developers can add a lot of content that they could not add on the mobile version of the Android market. They can add videos, they can add more screenshots, they can uh, add more content, they can discuss on forums with users about their application and solve bugs and things like that. So uh, by connecting users and developers, we've grown the community to a point where it's uh, an 8 million page view website a month. It's uh, okay. wow. which, is, uh, which is really good. I mean, we, the, the site itself was launched in 08 and it's already uh, a pretty decent uh, number. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 Androlib is, is is at base as well. Everything is free. Everything is organic. Everything is automated. And then we try to have different ad networks uh, running uh, running on the site. And it's true that what we're trying to do, and and, and I think you you're very much into Facebook as well. We're trying to do some internal advertising on the site. So what it is is that developers can buy some space on the site. And the URL it directs to is actually an Android page of the application. Uh, so wow. it's a win-win game that yeah. uh, the developers don't have to create a, a website for their application. Uh, they can direct right away to Android. And as far as we're concerned, we're being paid to drive traffic to a page inside of Android. So, so that we're keeping the users and we're giving a good experience as well. So, so, uh, so, so that's what, what we Facebook do. Facebook does with <laughs> Facebook pages. Yeah, yeah. So three things, yeah. Develop application and then uh, Androlib as well, which we use, as you can imagine, as a marketing platform for our applications uh, yeah. uh, as well. Yeah. But we, I think one thing you learn at Google is really to, to make it very clear what is organic content and what is advertising. Yep. And uh, this is what we've tried to do as well with Androlib. Like the, the left column is, is, um, is advertising uh, related and then the 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 center column, the middle column, is all about the organic content and uh, and the user. 